across from me, Gabby Loren. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing really well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Gabby Loren here for After Buzz TV. We are here at the precipice of SummerSlam. Stephanie McMahon, huge match at SummerSlam. She's here. Most of us have 24 hours in a day. She has limitless hours in a day. Right. She's like the Beyonce of wrestling. That's a weird uh, comparison, but I think we all get the point. Oh my god, this is my favorite part of main event, just because I love Stephanie McMahon. Can you please just give one of them different? Like, Nikki should be the one with different music, I but think. But don't you see what Stephanie's doing? She's trying to make one of them feel bad. <laughs> I did like what Stephanie said, where she was like, uh, can you stop playing that music? That's not... Oh, she didn't say it like that. That was real <laughs> okay. nice um, what you, Okay, what you say? What else <laughs> she said it more like, I'm sorry, cut that music. I think diva, I think personality. Attitude and athleticism. Natalia won really quick and mm. it wasn't well deserved, and I hate those kinds of matches. But I also love Natalia, and I think this was more of a storyline. Do you guys find it weird that Nikki's made out to be this evil sister, so she's kind of a bad girl, but John Cena's looked at as this like God? <laughs> I mean, it's just ironic to me that they're complete opposite characters, and that would kind of be interesting if they then twist it to have them argue and fight or have some kind of storyline on WWE yep. on one of their live shows. I agree with you. I mean, I think it would make sense. Backstage smooching with Brock Lesnar. <laughs> oh my God, that would be crazy. But why wouldn't John Cena be like, Nikki, why are you treating Brie like this? Like, at least something backstage. Right? What if John Cena was in a wheelchair for Brock Lesnar and then Nikki granted John Cena's make a wish? to be with Brock Lesnar. Ooh. <laughs> you have to have Cena in a neck brace, in a wheelchair, in leg braces, <laughs> like Zack Ryder was. Like, <laughs> I don't want to be with him because he's in a wheelchair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, evil Nikki. I made a wish, and I wished for Brock Lesnar. <laughs> we have like six months with storylines here tonight. <laughs> I loved it. It made me appreciate John Cena to a whole nother level. I guys think that they were a bad tag team? Because I actually thought they were a good tag team. It's just mm. unfortunate. Yeah, they lost. For one, somebody saying, you know, skills are measured over time and not just in one match. Gator, gator. <laughs> I think I just relate to Titus getting annoyed because I'm annoyed with how annoyed <laughs> he is. <laughs> so that's why I feel like I don't like it. Otherwise, I'd probably appreciate it more, but. So you're a gator. Yeah. And Marquia, your Slater? It was a smart tactic on the Miz's part because if you keep your legs... <laughs> that sounds really weird. Um, if you keep your legs that wide, obviously it's harder to lift somebody up and throw them over you. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm surprised we actually don't see more wrestlers doing that to keep others <laughs> from <laughs> lifting them. You hear that, Miz? She likes when your legs are spread real flat. It's in school if you're getting bullied, uh, you're getting picked on, <laughs> just lay on the ground, spread your legs as well. And as nobody will be able to touch you. <laughs> yeah, you're like a turtle in its shell. <laughs> oh my god. This is why I love WWE and why it's so international. It identifies with these different cultures. Gabby, where can they find you? You guys can find me at GabbyLow87 on Instagram. At